Let's go ahead and get right into this. Why did I decide to come to the DR? Let me explain, you'll understand why I'm here. I first came to the DR back in 2016, so I'm not new to this. I've been doing this longer than 95% of the people that have channels. Back in 2016, I was married. My ex-wife is Dominican. I lived here for eight months at that time in a city called Santiago. When I was here, we took a trip to Puerto Plata, and that was my first time going to a beach here in the Dominican Republic. When I saw that beach, it was so beautiful. I told myself, when I retire one day, I would love to have a house on the beach or near the beach, near the ocean, and just live peacefully. That's why I'm here in the DR. I'm here on a retirement visa. In order to get a retirement visa, you have to make X amount of dollars a month. You have to have a pension. You also have to have a clean background, uh, there's a lot of documents that's involved. Um, it starts as a resident visa, but that is one of the visas that allows you to live here permanently. Now, somebody left a rude comment um, on my eight difficulties that you might have in the DR. Let me go ahead and elaborate a little bit about why I'm here living in the conditions that I'm living in. First of all, it's by choice, okay? I don't mind being humble and living below my means. Let me let me explain something. This is how life works, right? Because I'm about to give you some jewels. Number one, in life, in order to succeed, you have to make sacrifices, okay? You, like no pain, no gain. You have to make sacrifices. One, one sacrifice, in order to progress in life is living below your means. You ever hear about those rich people that, you know, you don't even know that they're rich? Hmm? There's people that live below their means because they would rather put their money into investments and in things that give them a brighter future financially. All right? It's not just about Look at me. Come close to the camera. Take a good look. Somebody it looks like me with my style, charisma, intelligence, wealth. And when I say wealth, I don't mean rich. I mean putting yourself in a position where you are financially straight. You don't have to work another day in your life. When you get to that point, that's wealth. You understand? Somebody in this space of my caliber has no problem getting anywhere <laughs> okay <laughs> that's the least of my worries you know what i'm saying anywhere so that comment about oh you wasn't getting any in the in the states come on now come on stop it stop it take that to one of these channels one of these young broke passport bros that do have a problem getting some come here and exploit women build their whole brand around exploiting women and come here and lose their mind because they've never seen beautiful women before or had one that's not me all right you don't know me from a can of paint but you're about to get to know me all right so just relax any more questions <laughs> <laughs> any more questions now, back to why I'm here. I can retire comfortably. I'm a boss. You understand? So I've been a real estate agent specializing in residential and commercial real estate. Prior to that, I was an investment broker, and I've done pretty well for myself in life. Check who you're coming for, all right? Because, you know, you don't want to embarrass yourself again. So, that's why I'm here. It's a beautiful country. Now, another thing, why would people want to come here? It's a beautiful country, beautiful people, delicious food, wonderful culture, family orientated. It's peaceful, not a lot of crime. There's no prejudice and racism like that exists in the States. Why? Because everybody's the same, basically. It's all people of different shades of colors. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's, there's not that 
there's not that that threat of the police wanting to do something to you. Uh, there's no threat of being discriminated to the extent to where you can't do what you want to do because of your skin color. Why? Because everybody's of color, pretty much. All right. So it's a difference. It's wonderful. It's lovely. All right. You you, you feel me, Miss Conservative Heifer? And you don't even sound like a conservative. Conservatives are free thinkers. Okay. They use their mind. You sound more like an ignorant liberal, a hater. So there you have it. And why would somebody want to live in those conditions? Okay, now you know. One, because you can save money. You can put that extra money that you would be paying, you know, rent. Now, let me, let me explain something to you. I'm in a situation where I can pay $300 rent or $2,000 rent, all right? Oh, and let me, let, let me explain something else. So while I'm waiting for my permanent residency, my retirement visa, I'm also waiting for my beautiful home to be built, five minutes from the beach, fabulous three bedroom, two story, two baths, with a jacuzzi in the back, yeah. Diamond in the back, sun rooftop, digging the scene with a gangster lean, hoo 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 hoo, yeah. Don't play with me. And if you, Miss Conservative Heifer, and that's her name, guys, Conservative Heifer. If you would like to buy property in the Dominican Republic, it's 30% down on a new home. So if the house is $210,000, it's going to cost you $70,000 to move in. Yeah. Not 3%, not 5% like in the States. Not 10%, 30% down on a new home. But if you'd like to buy a house in Las Vegas, if you got three or five percent, ten percent, can you can can you stretch ten percent? I can help you out. I'll do the deal for you. Like I said, I'm a licensed real estate agent in Nevada. I'll fly and do the deal. I'm a boss. Be careful who you play with. This your man Troy. T O T. Don't forget to check out those lit videos. Go ahead and leave a comment. Leave a comment. All right. Good comment. Bad comment. Get it off your chest. You got something to say? Go ahead and get it off. I'll be sure to comment back. I'll, I'll be sure to reply to you. All right? But yeah, it's all love. It's your man, T.O.T. Make sure to hit that like button. Smash that like button. Come on, let's, let's get it popping. All right, until the next one. Peace.